Welcome to another episode of the Quip Corners Book Corner. This is part of the summer reading series. So we have a good lineup of authors and books you'd be interested in. The bio of my next guest will be right after this. So please join us in the Quip Corners Book Corner. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Quip Corners Book Corner, Opal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, it's, good, um, it's good to be here. Um, thanks for the invitation. Thanks for the opportunity. Is I I I pray whatever you're doing, your ministry, that it be blessed for as you give out, that it will come back to you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we're here to talk about your book. Yes. I Yes. Okay. So my book is, I'll just show it. Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's we see Surrender it. Meets Pursuit. Yeah. Of my destination. Okay. okay. This is uh, a part of my life's journey. Uh, where I got saved, my, but just a little background, my brother, my mom, she got a dream that my brother, that I died, I was killed. And so she came, She told me the dream. And like two weeks after my brother died in almost the same way that she dreamt. Oh, no. Yes, he was murdered in almost the same way. And so I thought about it and I say, no, I don't, want, I don't want my soul to go to hell. So I came to God like that because I'm mm -hmm. saying, Maybe if she, if we knew how to pray, you know, when she got the dream, all different things came to my mind. And I'm saying, yeah. no, I don't want to go to hell. I, God has given me another chance. So whatever the reason, I'm going to take it. So the book yeah. is really a journey from there. Okay. You know, the different things that God did in my life. I left, I'm originally from Jamaica. So I left mm -hmm. Jamaica and I came to the U.S. Leaving your home where... Usually you leave to come to get a better life. I had a comfortable life back home. Yeah. So that, so I believe it had to be God who wanted me to mm -hmm. leave. Right? Yeah. And so it's the journey from there. And so it's like starting over. You mm. know? First, you're living on your own with your kids, your own space. And now you come to a new country, you have to be sharing space with somebody else. You're basically starting from scratch at... Mid, middle age 30 30 a lot you know yeah. so, so that's yeah. really what it's about and the different ways the miracles that God did in my life six years after we came here I was able to close on a house because nice. the Lord told a young lady got a dream and she said the Lord said go and look and so you know it's just sharing my testimony of of, of how God worked in and through my life so that's really mm -hmm. what it's about nice nice and, you know, um, I've had the privilege and pleasure of interviewing other authors who have written a bit about their story. So thank you for being courageous enough to yes. share your story, because I'm sure it wasn't all rosy. Oh, well, no, it was it all rosy because I always say roses have thorns for a reason. So it was right. all rosy, positive and negative. Right. 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 So nice. it was that that kind of a journey. I've had persons come to me after and said, oh, I couldn't write all of that at all. And I'm saying, well, I'm delivered. So it's no time for me to share, you know, what God has done. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so it has mm -hmm. been a journey. Um, I'm doing a launch in a couple of weeks. I've not done, done a launch for this book. I just wrote it, put it down and that's it. But I believe, you know, the Lord wants me to really work on it sometimes the lord give us something and we just don't realize what is it that we have in our hand yeah and we, we we just treat it as something just something you know and sometimes it's what god give it to open a door i'm yes. here today because of this book yeah <laughs> i'm meeting you because of this yes. book so yes. yes so i am and, really really happy yeah. and thank you god yes. and, and i i like i like how you said that you know we don't know what god has put in our hands you right. know because 
Um, even if you think about the story of um, Moses, you know, and the burn, burning bush and all that, when Moses right. was giving excuses, the Lord said, what's in your hand? Right, right. You know, so thank you for being obedient and doing something, yes. you know, with what God had put in your hand. So, you know, you talked about someone saying, I could have tried all that. You know, right. um, so I'm just some people will be like, okay, what did she write? So well, can you share? Wrote, well, I, I was, I wasn't, I didn't grow up in the church. So I had a life before church. Mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. relationships before church. Yes. I went to the club before church. So yes. I had kids out of wedlock before yes. church. Yes. And so I, when I had my second child, I even before I got saved, I never wanted to have kids for different men. I wanted all my yeah. kids to have the same dad. And yeah. so I had the second one, two different fathers. And I'm saying, ah, oh, what's happening here? So those yeah. are some that are, in the book you know okay. that i i put it out there <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i was married yeah. i got divorced i put it out there mm -hmm. because um when i got saved and i had to make a decision you know do you stay do you leave there are principles if if the certain principles are not in place then you know as a christian you have to know that god is in this decision it's not something that you do lightly is not a running and a run out but i also know that not every marriage was ordained by god that's that's my belief that's not any any that's me right and so sometimes you just like you make, make a mistake with anything else you can do the same thing with your marriage and so god will give you out you know so i have stuff like that in this book and so that's what it's about. Because sometimes after your divorce, you feel like you can't do ministry anymore. You know, depending on where you're where you're worshiping, people believe that oh, you have done the the, the big thing. Oh, your God is not in it. God is not with you anymore, and you know stuff like that. But when you begin to know God for yourself, recently I started even to have doubt, and I'm saying, Lord, did I, did I make the right decision? And I went back in a journal and I found God gave me the answer like five years before. And I'm saying, why am mm. I seeing it now? Mm. And then I realized I, even though I got the answer, I was mature enough at that time to see it for what it was. And he knew that in this time I was going to be, you know, thinking, did I do the, having doubts? And so it, he sent me the book in, in this time now. And I saw it and I said, okay, God, I understand. No more doubt. I understand. So, you know, it's been really a, a, a journey and um, getting to know the Lord, getting to know how he works, the way he works for you is different from me. His principles doesn't change, but his methods, according to where our faith is, will change. Yeah. So that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. So it's interesting, you know, you say that because I um, have a pretty clear um, perspective on divorce mm -hmm. and, you know, um, and I, in maturing, mm -hmm. I have come to learn that we need to look at it on a case by case basis. Exactly. <laughs> you know, um, that's not to say I permit divorce right, but i understand right. right why it needs to be on a case by case basis right so can you read something from your book to us please? oh sure okay <laughs> i'm going to read the introduction Sounds yes good. i think yes so it's time to share our testimonies the bible shares incidents of people of god who have endured and been faithful kept the faith and who messed up and fell on their journey for making God their destination. In Luke 15, 11 to 32, the returning prodigal son is a picture of what it means to surrender to God. It's the giving up of our way of life and running to God's pursuit, even mm -hmm. if it means being a servant. Mm -hmm. Surrendering our ways, our will gives way to the plans and the future that God has designed for us. We see in scripture where God has guided them through difficulties. When we 
accept the gift of salvation and receive the Holy Spirit, we believe that we too will be faithful, overcome, and finish the race that is set before us. We focus on the characters in the Bible that overcame and ignored those who died for the cause. Mm. These are those who had to give up everything for the faith, and we secretly hope that will not be our experience. Yeah. On our faith journey, we begin to feel the effects of the verses in the Bible, such as, here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. That is in John 16, 33. But as we begin to grow faint and doubt and fear setting, then people like Paul, Joseph, and Daniel are no longer as attractive to us. We start to question our faith and even convince ourselves that we are the only ones going through the trials and the tests we are facing. <laughs> Eventually, we condemn ourselves and sometimes we even give up. The enemy always wants us to focus on the defeats and minimizes the victories. Mm. I think all of us as believers, we all have a testimony and it is time to share our experiences and encounters on, on our journey of making God our destination. I may have may not have been physically wounded where I'm sitting in a wheelchair, but I was broken spiritually. My outward appearance looked okay, but I was an emotional wreck because of unfulfilled desires and broken relationships. God knows our story. Our smiles does not fool him. I may have been alone physically, but God was with me every step of the way. God wants to be intimately woven in every area of our lives and every concern and decision. God wants to be involved. We just need to let him in and share our testimonies for his glory. There is a testimony in each of us yeah. who will read this book and of how God helped you to get over your son to stop doing drugs, go back to school. Or we help you to get your daughter to stop shacking up and come back home and is now a missionary. How we delivered you from an abusive relationship. How we enabled you to forgive an abusive spouse and parents and also to forgive a spouse for countless affairs. We each have a testimony of how the Lord gave us the grace to forgive the family member or family friend that sexually abused us. Mm. How he saved us from making the wrong decision regarding who to marry. How God's favor on our life allowed us to accomplish buying a home in just five years after migration and having an average paying job. We all have a story of the goodness of God in our lives. Someone we know is waiting to be set free, delivered, or encouraged from hearing our story. The trials, the tests, and victories we go through and have experienced are twofold for our strength and growth and our maturity. And to encourage the person down the road, our neighbor, the person in our office, the person on the bus, the person who sits next to us in church, the family member who is usually noticeably quiet and others, it is time to share our testimony. Mm. This book is to encourage persons to various, at various levels in their walk with God. It is to detail the ongoing faithfulness of God in my life. God's goodness is not just a one-off situation. It's an ongoing in the life of the believer. It's not just a one-time instance of healing or deliverance. It's a continuous process. Yes. His mercies are new every morning and great mm -hmm. is the faithfulness of our God. Mm -hmm. our <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for sharing from your book. How can people get copies of your book? It's on Amazon. Okay. Just Amazon for now. Yes. On Amazon. Okay. Okay. So we'll put that information below this video. So people oh. can um, know how to get it. But thank you again thank you for joining so me in the Quip Corners Book Corner, Opal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, then you take care. Yes, it was a pleasure being here with you. Take care. All right, thank you. God bless you. Bye, Bye now. Bye. Wow, what a story. That sounds like a book that will encourage everyone. She's right. We all have a testimony.
And as we share our testimonies, we give others the courage to continue and to overcome. You'll see information on how you can get copies of her book below this video. And I look forward to seeing you at or in or through another episode of the Quip Corner with Ada. Take care. God bless you. Bye now. Thank you.